Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today we're going to discuss are you missing out on your the one? Stay tuned for that. Okay, so welcome back family. Um, today I am going to give you five ways for you to know if you're missing out on your the one. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Number one, it's usually someone that you're already around, but you ain't paying them no attention. <laughs> it could be that guy that has been trying to get your attention for umpteen years. Okay, I, yeah, I said years, but it could be years, actually. Sometimes it is years. They've been trying to get your attention. You ain't never gave them the time or date. Right? Okay, so could, that's number one. Number two, that same person, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that same person has asked you out. But you always say no. They keep asking you out. They want to wine and dine you. They want to do whatever it is that's going to please you. You keep saying no. Are you missing out on your the one? Which brings me to number three. You might not be paying that person any attention because they just don't look like what you have your fantasy person in your head. You might want them to be super tall, but they super short. You might want them to be muscular, but they tall and lanky, right? <laughs> you might them to have. You might want to have. You might want them to have a big old butt, as flat as a pancake. So your physical description of your the one is not what that person looked like. That one that keep trying to ask you out, <laughs> that one that you keep ignoring, they don't look like what you have in your mind. So you like, ah, uh, now nah, I'm going to keep on pushing. I'm going to wait till that big old booty come by. I'm going to wait till that tall, fine, muscular X, Y, and Z come on by. Just think about it. Have they? And if they have, why are you still single? Think about it. Number four. It actually could be somebody that's from your past. Now, what does that mean? You guys actually could have been out dating before. You actually could have been in a relationship before. And for whatever reason, it just didn't work out. The way that I look at those things, if they do come back around, number one, could be meant to be. They could be you're the one. But usually, you guys didn't work out because one of the two, or maybe even both of you guys, were not ready to be open and receptive to each other to see each other as the one. So it could be somebody from your past. You already know, you've been there, done that. Now they're trying to come back around and make things right. You might not be open to the idea. Could be missing out on you're the one. Also, that same person that's been trying to take you out that you've been ignoring, can't get your attention, don't have the physical features that you're looking for in your mate, could have came back from your past. That same person, guess what? You can actually be yourself around them. And that's number five. You can be yourself around them. You don't have to put up this whole facade. You can let down your guard. You can actually be vulnerable with this person. But you're not giving them any time of day. So go ahead and think about these things. Those are the five things. I'll go through them really quickly. Number one is they're usually someone that you have been around but you're not paying them any attention. Number two, they have asked you out multiple times on many of dates and you have always said, uh, N-O, no. Number three, they don't look like the physical person that you think should be your the one. Number four, it could be somebody from your past that you just don't want to give the time of date anymore because whatever happened, it was horrible. Now you're like, no, not doing that again. That's number four. Number five, you can actually be yourself around this particular person. So again, think about these things. See if they actually fit into what you think as your one. Maybe you could go ahead and give that particular person a chance now. Don't feel bad about it. You can give them another chance. Anyway, think about it. Take all of this in. Soak it up. Thank you guys for watching my video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends and family on all of the social medias. And don't forget, I am writing an online program 
for your relationships to go ahead and tighten them up so you guys can get healthy romantic relationships on your own time on your own schedule this is going to be released within um within six months again i'm just dropping it out there to get you guys get your wheels turned let you know it's coming up it's coming up it's coming up all right <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video